Welcome to a new episode of Skyrim. Today we're gonna talk to part 2 Nux. He's up in the mountain and we learned the shout, the clear skies, to get to him. Yes. Here's another cloud we gonna shout away. Here another one. Got him. We're gonna do the flames. Oh, he almost killed me. We need to wait, and let's go! No, not the goat. I think we are almost there. And we are here. Now we're gonna find out where part of Tunax is. He's Rain here. Your lock. Greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmar, my mountain?
Uh, you are the master of the Grey Beast. They see me as master, Wuth Onik, old and wise. It is true I am old. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? I need you to learn the Dragon Ren shout. Can you teach me? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dova King. The word calls you. Go to it. Fire, fire, breath. Fire breath, we're gonna spend a soul on that. of speech with one of my own kind. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova Sauce, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? Can you teach me the Dragon Rant show? Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. How did you know how I came for how did you know I came for Dragon Ren? Alduin Comate Teed. What else would you seek? Alduin and Dovakin return together. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind. Jaw, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. How can I lure them then? Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this doom? I need to stop Alduin. Yes, Alduin. Zemach. The elder brother. Gifted, grasping and troublesome. As is so often the case with firstborn. But why? Why must you stop Alduin?
The prophecy says that only the Dragonborn can stop him. Mm, true, but Kostid, prophecy, tells what may be, not what should be. Kostid Salo Ak, just because you can do a thing, does not always mean you should. Do you have no better reason for acting than destiny? Are you nothing but a plaything of Dez, of fate? What better reason to act than to fulfill my destiny? If you can see your destiny clearly, your sight is clearer than mine. Dahman, remember, Alduin also follows his destiny as he sees it. But I bow before your certainty. In a way, I envy you. The curse of much knowledge is often indecision. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus. Now, I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monaven, what you name Throat of the World? I never thought about it. This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim, Sokrevak Struma, the great mountain of the world. Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. Using the Dragon Rant shout, right? Mm. Yes and no, Viknus Nikron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. An Elder Scroll, what's that? Hmm, how to explain in your tongue? The Dove have words for such things that Jaw do not. It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist, but it has always existed. Rahwatlan, they are mm, fragments of creation. The Kelly. Elder Scrolls, as you name them, they have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. But this is only a small part of their power. So far, Suyek. Are you saying the Asian Nord sent Alduin forward in time? Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. May ye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. 
How does any of this help me? Tidkrent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Krosis, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Hmm, as Ben of Arknir might have some ID. Trust your instincts, Dovahkiin. Your blood will show you the way. This was the episode for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day. Bye bye.